We all want to give back to the world in some way. We want to do good in some way, shape or form to give back to other people and to the world around us. And the way I've found allows you to do that and get free biscuits. <laughs> YouTube, Miller Corner here, welcome back once again, and just recently, for the very first time, I gave blood. Now, to give a bit of background, I've been going with my mum, who's been donating blood for about 20 years now, since I was about 10 or 11, and I've always been slightly fascinated by the whole process of it. Giving blood in the UK is a slightly different process to how it might be in other countries in the world, but I've remained deeply fascinated by the whole thing, the idea that you can do it and potentially do a whole lot of good for such a simple thing. I decided that as soon as I was leaving, legally old enough to do it, which I believe to be 18 in the UK, I'd book up the first session to give blood that I could and I would go and do it. And just recently, about two weeks ago, was the first time I managed to get a session at a time and a place convenient to my daily schedule. And having done it, I could not speak highly enough of it. I was a little bit nervous to begin with, as some people are, but having done it, I am thoroughly happy that I did. And I have to say, I can think of nothing but positives. So here are five reasons why, in the UK at least, you shouldn't think twice about going to give blood. For a start, it's easy. A lot of things that involve doing good for something or someone can be really stressful, really difficult, and require a lot of mental and physical power. For example, sifting through boxes of charity shop donations, or taking care of sick animals, or unruly children can be stressful, it can be challenging, which is why voluntary work to do good isn't for everyone. But blood donation is easy peasy. You lay down on the bed, they put the needle in your arm, and then you just lay there and let it happen. You are told every few seconds to clench and unclench the fist on the arm the needle is in just to keep the circulation strong and to keep the blood going in. But on the whole, it's really simple. You lay back, the bed isn't too uncomfortable, it's actually shaped for how your back would naturally curve. It flips back like a kind of manual dentist's chair and you sit there comfortable, you've got a padded cushion behind your head, you can lay back. It's totally simple, totally easy, and aside from the clenching and unclenching of your fist and your buttocks you're actually told to do, just to keep the circulation strong in your body, it could not be simpler to give blood. Following on from that, another flaw with doing good for the world and voluntary work can be time consumption. More often than not, if you volunteer in a charity shop, you might have to do so for hours on end, but giving blood is really, really quick. I went to give blood at about three o'clock in the afternoon, which to be fair is peak school chuck out time so not too many people you would think would be available but when I turned up roughly 50 seats in the waiting area there were and every single one of them had a person in it I actually had to wait to get a free seat loads of people were there donating and you might think that would slow things up but no the paperwork you're given suggests that you are seen and finished within an hour of the time you booked and they were spot on. I booked the appointment for 10 past three, and by 10 past four, I was out the door, back in the car, and on my way home. So even if you've got a busy schedule like myself with college, work, career stuff, and making videos for you lovely people, I still found time to take an hour out of it to donate blood, so it's simple, and quick. Giving blood is absolutely free, which is why the NHS encourage it so much. You don't have to pay a penny, you don't have to spend out for any equipment, you turn up, get a needle shoved in your arm, and lay back and relax. Voluntary work can involve travelling, it can involve buying pieces of equipment or skills or training that you have to have for it, but not for giving blood. No, you just sit there and let it happen. It's easy, it's quick, it's simple, and it doesn't cost you a penny. And the good points don't stop there, because when you give blood, you tend to give about half a litre, that's certainly how much I had to give, you tend to lose a little bit of sugar in your blood, which can make you a little bit drowsy, which means always when you go to give blood, there is a refreshments table where you can get fruit juice, coffee, tea, and a number of things to eat, such as free biscuits, which are pretty much standard at all blood donation things, bags of crisps, little bits of cake, whatever it takes you're encouraged to sit there for about 10 or 15 minutes, relax, make sure that you can sit down and get the sugar levels back up in your blood if you've got to drive somewhere, if you've got to walk somewhere, if you've got to go back to work. So if nothing else, it's an hour out of your time and with that you get free biscuits! But the final and perhaps most important plus point of giving blood is on a more serious note and a less selfish one and it's how good it is to be doing it. 
People with perfectly healthy circulation and strong hearts can generate the blood that they'll lose through blood donation within about 12 hours, I was told. However, some people don't have the luxury of a fully working circulatory system. Some people have got weak hearts, some people have got clogged up veins or arteries. For some people, getting the blood into your system just isn't easy and they need donations and supplements from other people to keep themselves alive. It's human nature to work our way around it rather than just accept these difficulties, accept these illnesses, accept these conditions and let it gradually kill off the affected. We worked out some people can generate blood perfectly healthily. Why don't we just take some of theirs, let them make some more and then give the surplus to the people that need it. It's wonderful taking a tiny little piece of your time to give them potentially a hell of a lot more. Doesn't that feel good knowing that you could be the one responsible for it? You can help them for totally free. It's painless, it's simple, it requires no payment, you get free biscuits at the end of it, and for those of you that are into karma and like a bit of self-reassurance, you can save lives. You can get someone potentially out of a hospital bed, back up on their feet, walking around, knowing that you were the one that did it. You helped save their life, and that, on a serious note, better than any of the other plus points which are slightly selfish that I've listed in this video, this one, this is the one you should care about. You can save lives. I cannot encourage it enough. I don't know what the situation is like other places in the world, but in England they encourage it day after day after day. You go online, look, put in your postcode, put in where you live, and I'm sure that somewhere near you, sometime quite soon, there should be a blood donation session going on. If I could find an hour to give blood, you can as well, and when you do, you will feel so good about yourself. An hour of your time laid down with a needle stuck in your arm could save lives. How wonderful is that? Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I really, really appreciate it. If you liked it, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. And if you enjoyed this message, you liked what you heard today, the plus points of giving blood in the UK, I urge you, go and sign up now. The link is at the bottom of the screen right now, and I've put it in the description so that if you're living in the UK, you can find your nearest blood donation point, sign up, and start saving lives. It's as easy as a few clicks, you turn up, a little simple needle in the arm, and then you could save plenty of people's lives. That's all for this time people, but please follow those links, go and sign up, go and donate blood. They need your help to save people's lives. Thanks for watching the video everybody and have a brilliant rest of your day. Catch you soon people and have a good one.